Hello, uh, I'm Nigel Wells. I'm a GP who works in Selby and I'm also the clinical chair of the Vale of York CCG. I thought it was timely and right thing to do to let you know how we're getting on with vaccinations in our area. And it's good news. The good news is that we've got three vaccinations licensed in the UK and we were lucky enough to get our first batches of the COVID vaccinations to us before Christmas and really starting to vaccinate those most vulnerable cohorts that we know that we need to get to as soon as possible. And that's what we've been doing over the last few weeks and learning from those first initial weeks of, of vaccination. And now as the supply chain comes online and more supply comes through, we'll be vaccinating more and more people over the next few weeks. It's important therefore that when you are called to come along, and, and get the vaccination. And to remember that we will vaccinate as, as we need to from the national guidelines around who needs to go next. So you will get called uh, in that order. So it's important maybe not to uh, ring up your GP surgery and ask where you are on that, because of course they'll be wanting to have those lines open for other people that need to get through. Having had the COVID vaccine, is, is a good first step. But we, we must remember that we don't know what that means for transmission or immunity until we've got the second dose and until we know a bit more about things. So it's really, really important that we do the right things. And at the minute, that means staying at home. Staying at home saves lives. And as you can see at the minute, the NHS is under extreme pressure at the minute. And that's the same in York and North Yorkshire. It's important therefore for us to know what to do if we've got a health issue, uh, lumps and bumps that shouldn't be there or something we're really concerned about. So general practice is open and if you need us, you give us a ring. We'll talk to you on the phone and work out what we need to do for you. Of course, there's 111 online and also 111 by phone if you don't know what service you need and where to go. A&E is for limb-threatening and life-threatening emergencies, so please only use them if you need them. Finally, I'd like to say thank you for everything that you're doing and the support you're giving for key workers and frontline workers. It's really important at the minute that we all understand why we're in this and understand the restrictions and really stick to those. So we wash our hands, we have a mask when we need to go out, we keep social distancing. And the main thing that we do at the minute is we stay at home. Thanks for watching this and hopefully I'll be able to update you soon about how we're getting on with the vaccination programme.